Imagine this. Every click, swipe or tap you make on your device is processed in less than a blink of an eye. But how? The answer lies in a tiny piece of technology, the CPU, or Central Processing Unit. It's the brain of your computer, and today, we're diving deep into how it works. By the end of this video, you'll understand the magic behind this engineering marvel that powers everything from your smartphone to supercomputers. Let's get started. What is a CPU? Let's start with the basics. The CPU, or Central Processing Unit, is often called the brain of the computer. It's a small chip, usually no bigger than a few square centimeters, but it's responsible for executing billions of calculations every second. Without it, your computer wouldn't be able to run programs, process data, or even boot up. The CPU sits on the motherboard, connected to other components like RAM, storage, and the GPU. But unlike those parts, which have specialized roles, the CPU is a generalist. It handles everything from simple arithmetic to complex decision-making. Think of it as the conductor of an orchestra, coordinating all the other instruments to create a symphony. To give you an idea of its importance, consider this. Every action you take on your computer, whether it's opening a file, playing a video, or typing a document, requires the CPU to process instructions. It's the workhorse that keeps your digital life running smoothly. The building blocks of a CPU. To understand how a CPU works, we need to break it down into its core components. At its heart, a CPU is made up of billions of tiny transistors, microscopic switches that control the flow of electricity. These transistors are arranged into circuits that perform specific tasks. Here are the key parts of a CPU, the Arithmetic Logic Unit, ALU. This is where the math happens. The ALU performs all the arithmetic, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and logical operations, AND, OR, NOT. Every time you calculate something in a spreadsheet or compare two numbers in a game, the ALU is hard at work. For example, if you're playing a game and your character jumps, the ALU calculates the trajectory and landing position. The control unit, CU. The control unit acts like a traffic cop. It fetches instructions from memory, decodes them, and then directs the data to the appropriate parts of the CPU. Without the control unit, the ALU wouldn't know what to do with the numbers it's given. Think of it as the brain's prefrontal cortex, making decisions and coordinating actions. Registers. Registers are small, ultra-fast storage locations inside the CPU. They hold the data and instructions that are currently being processed. Think of them as the CPU's working memory. While they're much smaller than your computer's RAM, they're also much faster. For example, when you're editing a photo, the registers temporarily store the pixel data being manipulated. Cache. The cache is a slightly larger storage area that holds frequently used data. It's faster than RAM, but slower than registers. CPUs often have multiple levels of cache, L1, L2, L3, to balance speed and storage capacity. For instance, when you're browsing the web, the cache stores frequently accessed website data to speed up loading times. Clock. Every CPU has a clock that synchronizes its operations. The clock speed, measured in gigahertz, GHZ, determines how many instructions the CPU can execute per second. A higher clock speed means faster processing, but it also generates more heat and consumes more power. For example, a CPU with a clock speed of 3.5 gigahertz can perform 3.5 billion cycles per second. How does a CPU process information? Now that we know the parts, Let's talk about how they work together. The CPU operates in a cycle called the Fetch Decode Execute Cycle. Here's how it works. Fetch. The CPU fetches the next instruction from memory. This instruction is typically a binary code, a series of ones and zeros that represent a specific operation. For example, if you're typing on a keyboard, 
the CPU fetches the instruction to display the corresponding letter on the screen. Decode. The control unit decodes the instruction, figuring out what operation needs to be performed and which parts of the CPU need to be involved. For instance, if the instruction is to add two numbers, the control unit directs the data to the ALU. Execute. The CPU carries out the instruction. This could involve the ALU performing a calculation, data being moved between registers, or information being sent to or retrieved from memory. For example, if you're playing a video, the CPU executes instructions to decode the video file and send it to the GPU for rendering. This cycle happens billions of times per second, allowing the CPU to perform complex tasks in the blink of an eye. Binary code the language of CPUs. At the lowest level, everything a CPU does is based on binary code, ones and zeros. These binary digits, or bits, represent the two states of a transistor, on, one, or off, zero. By combining billions of transistors, the CPU can perform incredibly complex operations. Binary code isn't just limited to numbers, though. It can also represent text, images, and even sound. For instance, every letter on your keyboard is assigned a unique binary code. When you type, the CPU converts your keystrokes into binary, processes them, and then displays the corresponding characters on the screen. The evolution of CPUs. CPUs have come a long way since their invention in the mid 20th century. Early CPUs, like the Intel 4004 released in 1971, had only a few transistors and could perform a few thousand calculations per second. Today's CPUs, like those in your smartphone or laptop, have billions of transistors and can perform trillions of calculations per second. One major advancement is the move from single-core to multi-core processors. Another key development is hyperthreading a technology that allows each core to handle multiple threads or tasks at the same time. This makes the CPU even more efficient, especially for tasks like video editing or gaming. For instance, a quad-core CPU with hyper-threading can handle eight threads simultaneously, significantly boosting performance. CPUs in everyday life. You might not realize it, but CPUs are everywhere. They're in your smartphone, your smartwatch, your car, and even your refrigerator. Every time you send a text, play a game, or stream a video, a CPU is working behind the scenes to make it happen. For example, when you play a video game, the CPU is responsible for running the game's logic, calculating physics, and managing inputs from your keyboard or controller. Meanwhile, the GPU, Graphics Processing Unit, handles the visuals. Together, they create the immersive experience you enjoy. The future of CPUs. So, what's next for CPUs? One exciting area of development is quantum computing. Unlike traditional CPUs, which use binary code, quantum computers use qubits that can exist in multiple states at once. This could revolutionize fields like cryptography, medicine, and artificial intelligence. Another trend is the move towards specialized processors. While traditional CPUs are generalists, newer chips are being designed for specific tasks. For example, Apple's M1 chip combines a CPU, GPU, and other components into a single package, optimizing performance and power efficiency. There's also ongoing research into neuromorphic computing, which aims to mimic the structure and function of the human brain. These processors could lead to breakthroughs in AI and machine learning, enabling computers to learn and adapt in ways that are currently impossible. Why CPUs matter? CPUs are the unsung heroes of the digital age. They power everything from the devices we use every day to the infrastructure that keeps our world running. Without CPUs, we wouldn't have the internet, smartphones, or even modern medicine. So, the next time you're streaming a movie, playing a game, or just browsing the web, 
take a moment to appreciate the incredible engineering behind your CPU. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the power of technology. If you enjoyed this deep dive into how CPUs work, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. We've got more exciting content coming your way, from the latest tech trends to in-depth explanations of how your favorite gadgets work. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.